Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd take another look at the workshop and see what was out there and a lot of very, very cool things. Uh, just one thing to note, I didn't do a uh, look at the workshop video last week. I do plan on making up for that. I did have uh, picks for it. I just didn't get to doing the video due to other circumstances. So I'm, I'm going to try to uh, do that early next week. Um, so anyway, the very first creation here today, this is a very cool looking ship here. This is the M. T25 Cardinal by Procon Loter. Really uh, slick looking CV. It almost looks like an SV, but it is a, it is a full blown CV. Uh, I love the uh, aerodynamics of it and the uh, the thruster setup and the uh, general shape of the entire creation. Uh, nice use of uh, some color differences here too. I like the uh, the red stripes in the back by the thrusters. Uh, really cool looking. Uh, set up here that with this uh, gray going on as well it's just got some neat looking block work to it and again i do like this uh this cockpit area too um again it looks like a lot like a fighter like this could translate pretty well i think to an sv as uh as well so maybe i don't know it's hard to say but uh it is uh it is a cool looking uh, creation here and i do believe it uh, has a lot of room for upgrades in it too um, some sneaky little turrets down in there. Yeah, that, that looks sharp. That looks really, really sharp. Nice, uh, nice layout on this. This is pretty cool too. How it uh, sits on the on the front landing gear here too. It's got that low profile going on to it. It kind of pretty much sits right on the ground, which is kind of kind of neat. Oh, the rear landing gear are, are cool too. I like that. Yeah, nice setup. Really nice setup. Got the big old uh, thruster housings in the back, kind of keeping the thrusters away from the interior space. Nice placement of the uh, detector as well. Ah, very nice. So, uh, hmm, let's take a look inside here and see what's going on. I'm going to do the light thing again. Now, I'm looking at this in Reforge Eden Creative Studio because I'm, I'm just trying to keep the uh, the lighting uh, brighter in here so if it's missing any parts I apologize for that it's just a uh, I'd rather see it uh, lit up better um, as opposed to like uh, really dark especially walking through the interior space so uh, oh, to start with nice looking hangar it's, uh, yeah this is I'm kind of curious I have a feeling this is a uh, full-blown starter type CV at least how it's configured here it's got a warp drive in there I like the uh, the thrusters up top there Got a constructor, med, med bay over on this side. Nice looking hangar. I like the uh, the lighting and the uh, the coloring and the attention to detail in here. Everything's very nice. Even um, the lines on the hangar floor, the different textures. Uh, uh, yeah, everything on here looks really sharp. Well, this is pretty slick too. Seeing the uh, fuel and O2 tanks kind of uh, through this block here. Nice looking setup there. And the side... Look at these sideway doors here. That's that's different. So yeah, it gives you uh, first-hand access that way. Yeah, that's cool. So we got another sideways door over here for some more O2 tanks, cargo box, armor uh, locker, pentaxa tank, another box, your O2. So yeah, everything is uh, pretty much set up here. So and then uh, upgrades here. So yeah, a bunch of information on upgrades, uh, basically replacing the uh, back thrusters with uh, uh, advanced thrusters. And uh, I'm just kind of looking over all this here real quick. Add two retractable turrets, underside of wing markers, space available for CPU extenders and or shield chargers, capacitors, inside engine nacelles. Yeah, that's cool. So a bunch of upgrades. I love to see this too. So um, you know, when someone uh, subs your uh, your creation, they kind of know what's up and what to look for. Which you know, obviously, it can be kind of troubling sometimes. I mean, if you don't know anything about a ship or how it was made or what it was intended to do, it's uh, you get it and you're kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that is really cool. Nice looking uh, uh, bridge area as well with the glass canopy there. Looks like you can have very good visibility flying around. And it looks like, uh, yeah, beyond that, we got a ladder going up here. We got uh, Wi Fi, our main core. It looks like a, a sensor right there. Fridge, food processor. Uh, looks like right here we got a CPU uh, core block. 
Oh, look at that. We also got a shower and a toilet. Ah, oh, this thing's got a... Uh, oh, and a quick uh, in and out or drone hatch right on the top. Yeah, this is really uh, well laid out. I, I like it. It's uh, it's very compact. It's... Uh, yeah, it looks like a really nice starter ship, I gotta say. Really curious on its specs now, so let's take a look at those. So to start with here... Um, Unlock level 12. Yeah, that, that fits the bill for a starter. Uh, 49 forward uh, thrust, 16 strafing, 49 lift, 32 reverse, 14 down. 4 hour and 10 minute build time. Does not look like it requires anything special, as in Zycosium or Erestrium or other weird uh, materials in the game. And let's take a look at the CPU. Oh, look at that CPU too. 400,000 base CPU, that, that would be, I believe, one uh, basic CPU core in here. And it's got uh, nearly 80,000 CPU left over, uh, even how it sits. And it already had a warp drive in here. So it sounds like a, uh, a number of these upgrades can be done without even upgrading the CPU on it with, uh, you know, the uh, better thrusters and things like that. Uh, so, yeah, this is, this, uh, this is a really nice starter. I gotta say, it's uh, yeah, I think you hit all the marks on it. Uh, looks wise, um, function, the numbers all check out really well. Yeah, slick looking creation here. So again, this is the M25 Cardinal by Procon Loader. Very nice, very nice. This looks like a, uh, a nice uh, starter for uh, a new playthrough in, in the game uh, in Reforge Eden. I'm curious how it checks out with vanilla too. Honestly, I didn't even look at the post to see if it was for Reforged Eden or vanilla. Um, it might be dual. Uh, it might be able to uh, run with both. Usually, seeing numbers like this, I would think this would translate quite well to vanilla as well. And, and that may be on the post itself. I apologize for not uh, checking all that out. But uh, it kind of looks like it would be a, a worthy vanilla uh, starter ship as well. All right, so the next creation here is, uh, this is a cool looking one here too. Uh, this is the HF Mole Navis Heavy Cargo Freighter V3 by Kithid. And uh, yeah, it certainly looks like a uh, cargo freighter too, I gotta say. I love this uh, color scheme on it. It's uh, unusual, a lot of different colors and a lot of different textures and things going on on here. But it, it looks really good together. You wouldn't think sometimes, uh, you know, having like the orange uh, or, well, yellow caution tape and uh, it looks like some, some form of brownish orange colors in here. Got some greens, you got some grays, got whites. Um, a lot of different texturing going on too, but it really looks good. It looks kind of authentic. Um, a little more detailed than it would be, I think, if it was just uh, like pure white or, or something on those lines. Just taking a look at some of the block work here. Yeah, it's cool. I like the, uh, the the kind of the roundest part at the bottom. Oh, I got a spotlight going on in there. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, texture usage going on here. This looks pretty neat too. This looks like a uh, potential upgrade slot for some uh, additional thrusters potentially. And then uh, I've got all these uh, cargo bays on the side here. Yeah, nice looking uh, setup here, and then this uh, this front end looks really cool too, and it's got actually a ramp, so it uh, meets up to a hangar. It looks like inside, in the uh, the center section there. Miscellaneous turrets in different places. There's a cargo freighter, so I'm not expecting it to be uh, super powerful with that, but uh, able to uh, defend itself against drone attacks and things like that. And to check out the back here. Big old thruster housings here. A lot of detail in there. Look at all the, the pipe work and the just all kinds of stuff going on in there. And the uh, the blocks behind this. I said pipe work. I guess I meant these uh, deco pieces, not necessarily like the uh, pipe blocks. But uh, yeah, that yeah, looks really cool. And then this uh, this bridge area here too. I love this uh, color separation around the uh, the glass and the glass itself here. It's uh, it looks uh, pretty elegant actually. 
looks expensive. Kind of looks like it's expensive inside there too. A little balcony over on the side over here. I like how this uh, bridge kind of hangs over the front of it. Uh, again, it would uh, remind you of like a, uh, a cargo freighter we uh, even ship in the real world. For the most part, obviously, this one flies in space and stuff, but, you know, it's got some advantages. <laughs> Radar on top, some uh, various antennas, plus a detector out there. Yeah, nice looking, uh, nice looking ship. Oh, yeah. And yeah, again, potentially some upgrade uh, thruster parts. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if there's anything uh, documentation in that in the ship about that. Let me uh, switch over to the light. We're uh, a little bit more darker uh, lighting setup here. And we'll take a good walk in the here. I like how this automatically opened up too when I parked this ship. It just kind of opened the entire front end. I might have to take this off to see what it looks like with uh, all that up as well. So as soon as you get in here, it looks like uh, all those cargo bays that you can kind of see on the outside, or at least the uh, the block work representing that, uh, actually translates to actual cargo bays on the interior. And I love this little, uh, or this uh, zigzag uh, thin block line with the uh, the color differences there too. And that's a uh, nice looking detail there. And yeah, even the, uh, the cost and decal over this uh, particular block on the side, you can see there's cargo extensions right here as that's only a unique texture just to cargo extensions got some fuel tanks going on along the front here yeah yeah I was wondering I was looking at this uh, setup here with this these lines and it almost looked like it would be a crane and of course right back over here you can see this kind of compact crane design that would uh, uh, go along that track there and be able to uh, looks like it would swing down and be able to pick up uh, whatever and move it from one place to another inside the uh, hangar that's uh that, that is a very cool idea too i love that that is nice yes very nice yeah nice setup here so oh yeah look at this this is uh lcd's done a little bit differently here so we've got the uh, generators one and two old school lcd looks nice though i mean they they can really look nice in the right circumstances like this and yeah, check out this generator setup over here. So we've got two generators kind of uh, vertically facing upward. And I like this uh, this glass here. I didn't even notice that actually from the outside. Interesting. I wonder if this uh, is doing the same. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, glass uh, barriers in between each one of these um, uh, like cargo extension rigs. Very cool. Quite a lot of room inside the hangar here too. It's it's a deep hangar. Um, you could, uh, if anything, you know, what, whatever you're parking in here fits uh, side to side. Uh, you can get quite a few things in here. Generators 13 to 14. Holy smokes! This has a lot of generators in it. Yeah, right up the top there. So what's going on? Wow, 15 and 16. Holy smokes! Kind of wondering if it really needs this many generators, though. But it is, uh, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> so let's just see what some of these cargo uh, bays are. So C8, basic 320K. Nice. Yeah, I like that. That is that is a uh, classic LCD there, i got to say. I've seen that quite a few times now. Very nicely done. Oh, looks like we got some cargo boxes on the top here. We're going to have to definitely look at the uh, the cargo on this. And you know what? Gosh darn it, I forgot to look at the cargo on the last ship. You know what? Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. I am so sorry about that. Wrong one. <laughs> uh, what do you have here? Let me just uh, hop in here on the Cardinal. So we got uh, 320K <laughs> cargo. And I, I get carried away sometimes. Um, I apologize for that. Uh, so we got uh, 40K uh, ammo. And then miscellaneous cargo boxes. In case you didn't know, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I got to uh, refrain from getting so excited to see the next creations here. So crew compartments, engineering, armory, med bay, rear bottom exits, crew lounge, crew quarters, galley, bridge, and captain's quarters. Uh, this, this is a pretty deluxe ship here. 
virtual cockpit offline. I like the uh, the LCD there. Yeah, I want to steal that one. <laughs> I do. I like it better than my own for the for the same thing. <laughs> very nice, very nice LCD. So yeah, this this room is really cool. We got a gravity generator kind of on a pedestal here in the middle. Looks like we got uh, some various upgrade stuff on the ceiling above here. I wonder if we're gonna get up to another floor here. Looks like we've got a way out. Well, no, this doesn't go out. This goes down to a warp core, it looks like, in this chamber down here. Oh, that's cool. So you got kind of access below the floor to it with a with a regular door. I never thought of using a door that way, like uh, as part of the floor, but that actually does work out pretty well. I like that. We got an armory over here. Armor locker. Some boxes. A small constructor in here as well. And a door that goes to the shield generator. Very nice. Yeah, I like all the uh, the texturing and things that are going on in here too. Oh, and another sign. Yeah, this is an old school LCD too. Look at that. Again, looks really, really snazzy. I know they don't necessarily translate super well if you try to like copy and paste the contents of this LCD to a projector LCD. It may get messed up, but uh, yeah, that, that looks that looks really cool. I kind of like the old school LCDs too. I like the uh, projectors as well, but uh, it's nice to have the options. It's like to it's nice to see the old ones getting used too because it, it can look really good. It almost looks like a wall panel as opposed to. Um, a uh, like monitor screen kind of thing so over here we got our med bay it looks like we've got all our specialized equipment plus a, a toilet and a shower in there I like the uh, the color uh, differences in here very cool and there let's go this way so we got a way going down I'll have to check that out in a second and in here it looks like we got a utility room. O2 med bay, armor locker, Wi-Fi, and uh, repair bay. I gotta assume probably for armor repair. I'm just guessing on what the RB stands for, but that you know, being where it is, the height of the ceiling, and being right next to that, I would say that would be a probably what that is for. And out here we got this little catwalk kind of going off the back of the ship. It almost looks like it's kind of meant to dock to something back here as well. Uh, maybe some other creation. Very nice. All right, so let's go down, and then we will go up as well. So down, it looks like quick access right out of the ship here on the back. So just another alternative way to get into the ship. You have to uh, leap a little bit, or, you know, if it's in space, no problem at all. Alright, so on level 2 here, looks like we're getting into some uh, some fancy areas here. Wow, this thing has uh, got quite a bit going on in here. So we even have uh, crew, crew member names here. Crew quarters, yeah, look at that. That's cool. I wonder if there uh, any uh, uh, someone the uh, the author knows in, in real life, or, or maybe it's from a sci-fi uh, genre or something that I I'm on, I don't know, but that is cool. So okay, let's go in there. Oh yeah, nice, nice crew room. Yeah, <laughs> lock code <laughs> six five three seven. I have to remember that. See if there's a door somewhere in the ship here with uh, that is has a lock code. And then I'll probably forget that number by by then. I like this area too. Cool looking kitchen. I mean, this is kind of a. Uh, it's interesting too because walking through the ship here, you're getting a lot of different um, a lot of different stuff going on depending on where you are. It's really breaking it up. Like you don't exactly know what you're going to expect from one room to the ne to the next. But they all look really, really nice, and they, you know, it's 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 neat that way. It's uh, just more to see. So in the center here, looks like we've got a uh, gravity generator and uh, there's uh, a bunch of upgrade uh, sections here. 
So A E T X V T. Ha, huh, that's cool. The uh, the backward sevens there. I think I know why that is. Yeah, it's the block. Some of these uh, some of the blocks have like the. Uh, I I always say UVs, but like the surface area where you would texture um, like backwards on a certain side. I I, I can't really explain why that is um, but I've, I've come across it before too where like sometimes like the seven is just backwards um, it's just weird and it has to do with uh, that particular block there this block actually I like this block it's got uh, it's like one of the only blocks that has something going on in the center that's not a pipe you know a, kind of a center position thing um, but it does have a lot of uh, problems and I really think that block should have been addressed a long time ago. I did make mention of it in the past that it uses way too many uh, polygons for what's actually going on in it as well. Uh, it's just a weird little thing there. I like this uh, core display here too in the uh, the wood grain uh, wall with the uh, the fancy glass there. And it looks like we got a uh, CPU core above that and another CPU core over here. We got this uh, ladder walking across kind of to uh, access this. A couple of CPU cores here. Uh, this is very very nice and okay so we have we been in here and no, this is just a bathroom okay yeah cool cool looking uh, floor there so let's go up to it looks like to the top wait a minute wait a minute am I going too high up in the air here oh here it is okay so we're at three and this is that uh, that fancy bridge here with the uh, the red carpet and the uh, the fancy uh, wood wood grain uh, wall supports <laughs> ceiling supports like this uh, I like how the glass was uh, curved this way uh, too it does again remind you of what you'd see on a freighter uh, they typically do that so the uh, the ship's captain can kind of see or you know all people controlling the ship can see around well and not have blind spots we got a quick exit over here which goes to one of these balconies up, up on the side and it kind of almost looks like it uh, yeah check that out it's kind of like a big like antenna thing that's cool and imagine yeah on the other side same thing I, just a little tenses uh, little detail things like the little exit LCDs in front of those doors that's just neat as you can you can tell the author put a lot of uh, attention to detail into the key uh, into the uh, creation and we have our captain's quarters here yeah nice looking captain's room too got uh, overlooking glass windows the bed yeah pretty pretty uh, plush carrier I gotta say I bet you the crew of this one's pretty happy we got a nice ship to fly around in and was there anything nope no uh, crew room on that side and yeah the LCDs uh, throughout uh, the ship are really cool too I mean uh, the old school LCD with the the white background and the uh, the black text there plus some a little bit of color in there that's a it's a nice looks uh, elegant yeah really really cool looking ship here let me get the lights back on take a look at some numbers I'll try not to forget the storage this time sorry again uh, okay so uh, let's start here. So we are size class 6, unlock level 15. Uh, 78 forward, uh, 19 strafing, 39 lift, 39 down, and 39 in reverse. So pretty balanced thrusters. Uh, 8 hours and 43 minute build time is going to require some estrium and zacosium, but not a lot. Not a lot, comparatively speaking to a gunship or something like that. But, you know, it's you get into CVs and stuff, unless you... Uh, specifically building a starter there's an awful lot of parts and things that are going to need these uh, materials and they're not that horribly hard to get in game either uh six fuel tanks uh looks like one oxygen tank three oxygen stations uh cpu wise oh look at that this certainly does not break the bank on cpu either it did have uh i believe it had two improved cores and a basic cpu core in here bring it to 850,000 does not use all of that either so you still got uh, about 135,000 CPU left over which is really really cool um, yeah nice so cargo freighter 
I gotta assume it's got some pretty decent uh, storage on here. So we got an ammo controller, 57k there. Uh, two ammo controllers at 57k, so over 100k in ammo. Um, commercial containers, so that'll be a box. Then it looks like we've got eight uh, controllers here. It looks like they are set at 320k. And we got a frame. Okay, that's a box again. So eight. Eight 320s plus um, a little over 100k in ammo stores. Yeah, that's about right. You know, it's... Um, yeah, spec-wise and everything, it really comes out to exactly what the uh, the name would su suggest, being a uh, heavy cargo freighter. Uh, eight 320k storage, really nice inside. Um, places to go. Uh, can uh, You can also bring some vehicles and things with you, or uh, things, you know, larger, uh, well, you know, smaller type creations, I guess. Um, HVs, SVs, things like that. Yeah, very nice looking creation. Again, this is the uh, HF Mole Navis Heavy Cargo Freighter V3 by Kithid. Uh, awesome work on this. I love, love the styling. So the next creation here. Now this one I was a little bit iffy on if I was going to try to show it or not. Um, and there's uh, by this, uh, this is by Spange. And this is the SS Long Cup 4G Cargo SV. Now this... Uh, particular creation requires the star salvage scenario and uh, right on the post it did say that there could be some missing blocks and other things like that even if you're showing it in vanilla so i'm showing it in reforge eden and i just wanted to see what would happen i'm not super familiar with the star salvage uh, scenario but uh, i probably ought to look into that sometime i have seen it around um, but, but i guess uh, I, i've just been busy with everything else and haven't really checked it out but this is uh, specifically made for that and this is a SV as well. So this is a little different creation. It almost looks like a CV uh, in some regard. But yeah, as in taking a look at the actual creation here, a pretty wild design, I got to say. I like this. Uh, um, the whole framework aspect of this is uh, pretty pretty nuts, actually, in, in a really cool way. It's uh, You can see that this, uh, I would assume that this would be like some kind of like cargo storage and then you got this frame that goes over the top of it almost like it could take these pieces and set them down on the ground and then fly away um, and then you've got your your big lift thrusters over here and these really cool looking assemblies on the sides and then this really uh this wide area on the front here this is just really weird really weird in a cool way too it's just uh yeah there's some like windows in there it's like there's there's some rooms back over here and then you've got some uh, reverse thrust on the other side there. Yeah, really innovative uh, design, I gotta say. I like the uh, these turrets on there too. Uh, just checking this out. Yeah, it's neat. I like this. Uh, I love. I love seeing like framework and block separation and stuff like that. It just really does add a lot of detail to a creation, and it's trickier to build too. I mean, so. And uh, looking at this too, the bridge also looks very cool. The uh, the uh, pilot area cockpit, uh, like the uh, the side glass there. It's kind of got a uh, filled in blocks going through the uh, kind of the middle, but you can see right out the uh, both sides there. That uh, again, very very cool. It does have some weaponry on here too. So although I would kind of like first glance think of this as mainly a uh, cargo type of creation, uh, as it's uh, you know, also said in the name, uh, it looks like it does have some uh, combat capabilities too. Maybe not a lot, but uh, enough for a defense. And while well, having fixed weapons on there usually mean that you could also attack things. Um, so on the back side, we've got a uh, pretty cool looking landing pad over here too. That's just a, it's such a unusual design i love it i mean it's just it's different it's unique um and look at the uh the rear landing gear down here too on these uh thruster assemblies in the back it's using some pretty good size uh meaty thrusters back there too cool looking block work here definitely like that i like this uh just other things this could have been just a uh you know 
kind of an angled uh, square box, but you know, um, the author decided to, uh, you know, cut it, cut into it kind of with different blocks on the bottom side of that too, and that just looks neat that way. And then you got a round part going on the side here. Um, it just makes for a really interesting, cool-looking shape. Yeah, very cool-looking creation. So the author also had another one out on the, uh, the the workshop, too. I did see that in the spotlight at the time of making this video. So I only picked one of the two, um, and I wasn't sure if this one was even going to uh, display properly in, in the game here. And maybe it is missing some parts. I don't know what parts it's missing, though. It looks like it's pretty intact to me. So I'm, I'm happy to see that as well. So, all right. So next thing, I want to find a, a way on board here. I probably passed about three of them already. Um, uh, well, let's go through the top here and we'll see how this uh, works out. Let me adjust the lighting here real quick. Double door. Spiffy. There's probably a switch or something I was supposed to hit to get in here. So on the inside, yeah, look at that. This is just so unique. These are, oh, this is like... Uh, your co-pilot seats or your, your your passenger seats here and they got their own like glass display it looks like a constructor well at least on that side constructor over on that side and a uh, cargo box over here uh, a lot of other utility here we got o2 we got an armor locker on that side this side's different got a couple fridges so this guy uh whoever sits over here is uh, responsible for food and uh production of things uh, whatever is needed and this person here uh, put stuff in a box <laughs> oh, it's it's uh, that's cool look at this bridge on the inside look at uh, how the how the block work kind of goes around it here and opens up that's cool that is very cool and then the rest here it looks like it uh, fulfilling the uh, the cargo aspect of it uh, so we got these cargo bays cool looking uh, facing on these I like that dock A, dock B, C and D over here. It looks like we got a engine room out the back, fuel up on the ceiling, some uh, neat looking glowy uh, pipe pipe work, arrows. In case you didn't see that, it's right there. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. I, I do the same things. It's just it's you're you just you, you got only so many options in the game, especially with decals to add extra de detail and often i do the same thing i put stripes or things over things that it's like yeah you can tell where the the path is you don't need the white line to guide you but it just adds some detail and that's i i do it all the time arrows whatever um it's just it's it's uh again you only have so many ways you can uh, really uh, detail things especially with uh, adding some decals over the top of just the regular blocks typically will add just more more to look at and it essentially makes it more detailed so so this is interesting here so we got like a, uh, a ramp back here I'm gonna go out this door and see where we get to it looks like uh, we're in an engine room here and uh yeah, yeah we got our uh, uh shield generator warp drive over here looks like all our cpu core blocks again i'm um i can't i don't know really anything about star salvage um so i don't know how the uh how the cpu plays i don't know how things are different i'm sure they are it's a, it's a completely different uh mod and i'm glad to see that uh that like spans is uh, getting into that. I'm kind of curious myself on uh, how this how this mod works out and and what it does different from the regular game and Reforged Eden. But yeah, very cool. Looks like our main core is in here as well as Wi-Fi and another uh, basic CPU core over there as well. Generators. Yeah. So the engine room is living up to its name. And then we've got uh, ah here is the uh, the sneaky way. Uh, I guess it's not very sneaky. I guess it depends how your light is, but um, a way out to the landing pad on the back of the ship. So I didn't see necessarily any other ways in and out besides up front over here and out the uh, the back by the landing pad, which is totally fine. Yeah, very cool looking ship here. So I don't know how the numbers are going to play. Um, obviously, again, I'm in Reforged Eden. This was made for a different mod. 
So, or a, bit, a different scenario, I should say. So, let's take a look. So, to start with, we are size class 3, unlock level 20. 83 forward, 14 strafing, 115 lifts. So, I'm, I'm expecting a decent amount of cargo on this ship. That's a lot of uh, lift power there. Or, or again, I don't know the, uh, the numbers in... Uh, uh, star salvage so maybe maybe it just works out differently i don't know uh 14 um, 14 ms down five hour and 50 minute build time does require uh some a little bit of estrium and that cozy and probably a lot to do with the thrusters and the weapons that we've seen on here we got four plasma cannons uh, three laser turrets a detector 10 fuel tanks four oxygen tanks cpu wise well, I got to say, I mean, if it didn't say it was for Star Salvage, I could look at this and also think it, it was for Reforge Eden because it, the, the numbers are playing out pretty good. Maybe, maybe it has a little bit more CPU uh, tier blocks in it than what it needed. Maybe not, though. I mean, these numbers kind of, it comes close sometimes. But, uh, yeah, it, it despite being made for a different scenario, it kind of looks like it would work pretty good in uh, Reforge Eden as well. Uh, let's take a look at your storage. Long cuts. There we go. So we got a uh, ammo controller at uh, 1K. Uh, actually, t uh, well, a second ammo controller at 2.6K. So about 3.6K all, all together. Uh, that's got to be a box here, I'm thinking. Let's see, four uh, controllers. So it looks like we got 32k. Looks like they are all 32k. Yes, that's, that's a lot of storage for uh, an SV. That really is. That's uh, like 128k. Well, a little bit, a little, little bit more than that. Uh, plus a lot of other boxes and uh, other places to put stuff too. All kind of labeled nicely here. Very cool. Very cool. Well, maybe they're not labeled. Well, some of them are. Spare parts, fuel, tools, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, nice looking ship. Again, I love the uh, innovative design here and the framework uh, layout. And again, uh, yeah, it looks uh, like a fun one to use there. Pretty cool for your uh, your passengers, too. They've got uh, some cool looking, like, their own, like, cockpits and utility function around them. That is That is slick. So again, this is the uh, SS Long Cut 4G. Oh, 4G, 4G. Didn't even think about that one. So yeah, that really, really does explain the heavy lift thrust on this, as it's made for high gravity environments, at least up to 4G. I think the game has planets that can go beyond that a little bit, but uh, 4G is pretty, pretty, pretty good for most everything. So SS Long Cut 4G Cargo SV by Spans. Also, just, just so you know, it is for the star salvage scenario. So, um, although it kind of looks like it would work in Reforge Eden here, and in turn, potentially, it looks like it would work for Vanilla as well. Um, I can't say for sure, though. It, it might screw up the, uh, the CPU numbers on Vanilla. But uh, very cool creation. All right, so the next one is... Uh, this guy over here, and hold on, let me uh, make, let me make sure I got my stuff in order here. This is the CML Mizu MK2RE Full by Craig Diamond. So there was two versions of this. One was a uh, stripped-down version, obviously uh, intended for more starter purposes, uh, less uh, CPU usage, and probably you put in a lot of upgrade parts. And then there's the full version, and that's the one I decided to grab with all the parts installed in it. So there's going to be another version of this on the workshop that's probably going to be a lot cheaper to spawn in and require a lot less CPU and things like that. So I just wanted to uh, make note of that. Um, but I just I decided to grab the one that was all uh, decked out here um, with all the uh, intended features on it. So right off the gates, I got to say this looks uh, pretty combat oriented. A lot of uh, a lot of weaponry on it. A lot of turrets on the top. Cool looking ship here too. I like, again, I like the uh, the cockpit, the uh, the color, the way it uh, sits on the ground there. That looks really cool. I like this uh, uh, decals here along the side. Oh, that's a uh, that's a way in too. Blinky lights. 
Well, that's cool. And it looks like we've got some, uh, hold on, let me make sure I'm looking at, okay, we got some drill modules on here, too. Huh, so it looks like uh, this is also kind of set up to do some mining and shooting. Interesting. Yeah, let me get the light uh, adjusted better here, too. Yeah, I like the uh, the color scheme on this one, too. Man, all the uh, color schemes and everything have been really, really cool today. Uh a lot of uh, fluctuating, like the uh, the kind of this kind of a. It's actually it almost looks like it's a form of a uh, little bit of a blue tint going on there, on both of these, which is really cool. It's subtle, but I like that. Got some beefy thrusters on here too. Oh, pretty beefy. I mean, it's not that big of a ship, but it is uh, running the uh, the large thrusters, at least. Oh, look at that uh, radar off the back there. I got to assume that is a uh, long-range radar. Let me just make sure it's not the uh, deco part for vanilla. No, that's 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 the real deal there. Yeah, cool-looking ship there. A lot of guns on it. We're gonna have to take a look at its full uh, weapon layout here and how this thing is uh, set up. But yeah, uh, pretty cool. Uh, also do some mining, and uh, uh, I wouldn't be too scared to mine with this at all. Looks like you could defend yourself against most things or take out some other ships nearby you if, if, if they look at you funny. Uh, so, all right. Well, anyway, let's get in this uh, Let's get in this ship here. Well, hold on a minute. I did not really scour the entire bottom side here, too. Yeah, it's nice. I got some sensory guns out back as well. It's little things like this little uh, random decal over here. That that is cool. I like these little touches on there. Just trying to, you know, you can uh, you can always tell when an author's really trying to uh, get a lot of detail into a creation, spending some time and working things out. And I think that's really good to do too. That that learning process. You do it more and more and more. It becomes easier and quicker as you go. Um, at least that's my experience. When I first started and I was trying to make uh, even a room look halfway okay it took a long time um i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what was going to look good it was just a lot of trial and error and experimenting and messing with it but the more of that you do the better you get at it and that's just uh, kind of how it goes really so yeah cool looking uh, front stance here too it's a uh, pretty detailed creation all the way around anyway all right back with the lights So interesting how it uh, goes right into this uh, kind of red or orange uh, look when you walk in, at least on the front door here. But it looks like it goes back to the uh, a familiar color scheme to the outside of the ship in here. Wow, a lot of a uh, lot of stuff uh, as soon as you walk aboard here. So you got uh, four passenger seats, your pilot seat, again a nice uh, open cockpit here to uh, see what's going on really well. A lot of utility function here. Uh, armor repair, O2 armor locker. Got uh, looks like a an advanced constructor right up there. Um, medical bay. Uh, oh yeah, there's the other pieces. Yeah, uh, full medical bay with uh, with everything there. Uh, food processor. Uh, let's take this elevator up over to here. A couple of fridges right there. Yeah, the food processor was there. Our main core right behind this uh, panel there. And uh, it looks like a uh, quick way right out of the ship here. So a uh, nice uh, you know, drone hatch or something like that. Oh, a teleporter chilling out over here too. And this thing's got a lot packed in this area. Oh, look at that, a toilet. <laughs> and, and a shower. And a shower too. Yeah, wow. There's just a lot here. There is, uh, you got everything at your fingertips. I don't, I mean, literally, you can hardly move at all and do just about everything you'd want to if you're physically, like, uh, you know, touching all the, uh, all the stuff. That's cool. Just curious. It, uh, the ship looks fairly good size, but I'm, uh, not seeing any other way out of here. 
unless it's separated in some way or the entire back does not have interior space in it let me just make sure I'm not missing something here no, I don't think so all right well here let's uh, let's look around at a different angle here go around to the back so yeah I've not really seen any doorways or anything out here Then again, it is a, it is a, kind of a definitely a combat-oriented looking ship um, with mining capabilities. I'm kind of curious on how this is set up here. Just want to make absolutely sure I'm not missing something here. All right, I'm gonna do a little cheating. I'm gonna fly into the hall. I want to see what's going on back here. Okay, so we got uh, a whole bunch of CPU cores over here. Uh, we have a, a shield, warp drive. It looks like a big generator on uh, two big generators. Oh, we got some uh, some shield parts in here too. Some, uh, thrusters. Yeah, this whole back area is really filled up, isn't it? There is just not um, not not room to have interior space. I see why the author did that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on back there. Wow. Thrusters. Okay, okay. We're going to take a look at the shield on this one, too, because it's uh, more of a combat ship. And let me take a look at the hull material as well. So, of course, we've got, uh, I think that's your standard armored glass there. Looks like an uh, carbon. So more shield-dependent comet, I would say, unless there's uh, sneaky layers. I don't think there could be, really, too many sneaky layers of uh, Xeno or lag shot or something like that in here because of how the, how the cockpit is right up front. Okay, so shield dependent combat ship. Let's take a look at your numbers. So start with uh, unlock level 25 on this version. And again, keep in mind, there's a much cheaper version on the workshop that would uh, not be fully decked out like this one is. Uh, 13 hour and five minute build time. Uh, it's gonna use uh, some Estrium and Zacosium, yeah, very typical for any type of combat CV especially and other kinds of creations that are combat oriented uh 12 uh minigun turrets six laser turrets uh one multi oh it's got a multi turret on here too so salvaging and mining two drill modules long range radar two missile turrets sensory gun four fuel tanks two oxygen tanks 66 forward 24 strafing 80 lift 48 reverse 48 down cpu wise uh, fits right up to the uh, right up to the brim there with uh, um, 2.1 million CPU, so a Core 9 build um, on the main here. The uh, stock shield is 6780, so yeah, um, better than normal shield as well. Let's take a look at your storage and stuff here. Uh, this guy here okay so 320k ammo a couple of fridges we got a harvest bay at 320k uh, special looks like it's a box tools and weapons I'm assuming that's a box so yeah it's got a harvest bay and an ammo bay really makes sense for you know what you see on the ship here obviously it's kind of it's a it's a gunship slash uh, minor uh, salvager um can do pretty much all that stuff so that that's pretty cool that's a nice uh nice functional uh ship here as well and it looks very nice um and everything's uh, obviously you're not going to be spending a lot of time walking around inside the ship everything is like literally right there as soon as you uh as soon as you come aboard so yeah very cool very cool creation again the cml mizu mk2 re full by craig diamond and uh, very cool. So next creation here. This is a, a new one here by Life Force. This is. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm sorry. Uh, doo -doo. Why did I? Oh, the LF Hannibal uh, PV by Life Force. So this, although it kind of looks, especially when I look at it at the, like this view, looks a bit like it could be a CV. It's this is actually an SV. Really nice looking SV. Yeah, this block work is uh, is slick. 
very slick. Just looking at uh, just looking at the front area now. I like the uh, the color separation in there. The white lines that kind of uh, using certain thin blocks and things like that. You can uh, do that kind of thing. But uh, the uh, the shape and proportions and everything look really really nice on here. And I'm really liking this bridge too. Yeah, that looks cool. It's kind of like it reminds me of a yacht. In a way, not really. I mean, not the whole thing, but that this this area here, just uh, you know, if you look at like a really fancy looking yacht out there in the real world, it kind of kind of has that look to it. Uh, elegant. And yeah, even this part on top there kind of looks like it would be something you might see on a yacht as well. That's uh, yeah, that's a cool looking bridge. Nice uh, nice block work there. And look at these uh, th uh, extensions, kind of uh, wings slash, uh, sh yeah, this is a good looking uh, thruster housing slash weapon in there too. I do, you know, a lot of times I do wish they would allow uh, these wing parts for CVs as, as well. Uh, it's an SV only option, um, but it would be kind of neat to be able to use that on some other kinds of creations too there are just certain things you can do with that that you can't pull off with blocks and uh that could come in handy on uh, cvs as well but i don't care you know if it's uh it kind of makes more sense that they're just for svs but uh just an option there like the uh the logo here on the side phoenix starworks hannibal loving this wing here on the back too oh yeah it lights up too now, this is a really deluxe looking SV, it's pretty big too. I mean, for an SV, this is uh, not a terribly small ship. And you got your your four gats up front there, uh, lighting. Looks like quite a lot of strafing thrust going on on the front over there. Quite a bit of uh, we got four forward thrusters, all, all of uh, pretty good sized thrusters. Yeah, I like the uh, the entryway too. Yeah, this just looks great all the way around. I get it. there's um, I don't even have it in full lighting here, but uh, yeah, sharp looking ship here. Really, really neat looking block work. Again, it has that elegant look to it. Kind of looks like a race car in a way too. <laughs> it's just it's cool, very cool creation here. All right, so let's uh, let's go inside here and take a look at what makes this tick. So uh, look at this interesting setup here. So as you walk in, it kind of goes up and it goes down. So you got your bridge right above. Kind of unusual to see this uh, setup or any setup like this on on an SV especially, but it, it really works. That's cool because that's uh, really easy and quick to get up over here. And to, uh, I did see this sign already when I uh, when I uh, spawned the ship in and parked it here. I did see this sign and it made me spawn something else on the side that you're not seeing quite yet. I wanted to take a look at something but basically until Elion fixes cockpit ejection ejection issues be mindful not to park at higher than 10 degree incline HUD for reference uh, in gravity um, yeah I agree with that I uh, there's been a lot of problems throughout time uh, with especially when new patches come out or, or something like that where the pilot seats especially on like SVs kick you out different directions and like you could test something and you could work it all out and you could go into your creation and get in and out of the pilot seat not in god mode and things like that everything works fine and then like a month later all of a sudden um people are saying hey every time i get out of the cockpit i get stuck in a wall or fly out of the ship or, or something happens and it just it, it's been ongoing for the like years of the same kind of uh problems with the seats i don't quite understand why they're so tricky that way but uh yeah i, I appreciate the uh, the sign there um that's uh, i probably ought to do that on my own creations anytime i use a uh have a uh, area that you know you wouldn't think there would be any problem with this and in fact i'm just going to see what happens here i'm going to get out of uh so i'm out of god mode now i'm going to get in the seat and then i'm going to get out of the seat and see if it messes up probably not no but if i if i was parked at an angle it might like eject me off the top of the ship or something or break a leg in the process that that can happen too by the way so yeah that's uh that, that that's cool like the indication there cool looking uh dashboard here too by the way it, it, that's I, this this is neat this that's just neat uh you got uh, lcds for 
both your passengers over there, plus this cool looking display up here too, kind of embedded in there. Yeah, this is just sharp, really sharp. Let's see what's going on below here and behind the door. So we got a processor house over here. Oh yeah, quite a bit of room in there too. A lot of uh, a lot of CPU upgrade uh, potential in here. Or uh, yeah, you could. Uh, it's got enough room to stick some generators in there too if you wanted to. Looks like we got another one of these on this side. Oh yeah, and this one is handling the generators. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, a lot of upgrade potential there. Auxiliary power. Oh, it says it right over here. Auxiliary power. Wait, no, this is something else. Oh, look at that. I get it. That's cool. That is a neat looking uh, way to do it. And cool looking LCD uh, kind of embedded in there because of the uh, the thin block uh, layer wall on, on the top of it. So what's down below here? Oxygen station. Nicely displayed there. Weapons locker. Move uh, two blocks on this. Food processor placement. <laughs> Trauma. Trauma station placement. Wow, that's, yeah, that's cool. So it's, uh, it's definitely thinking about all the other uh, different kinds of parts you may want to put in the ship as well. And uh, it even tells you how to do it. That's cool. Uh, so it looks like we got a uh, storage controller over here. I'll look at that at the end there. And what's going on here? Oh, okay, a little constructor room. That's cool. Oh, yeah, a cargo box over there. Yep, production room. And add, uh, yeah, so if you, yeah, it looks like you can obviously add another constructor up there. It's kind of built for it with the framework here. I love seeing that, just when all the parts are on display, kind of like they, they were meant to go there. Uh, it's really cool to see what is going on in here. Sorry. <laughs> Got sidetracked. i seen uh, color coding LCDs. Speaking of that, this ship has a whole lot of different colors available. Um, looks like there's a couple listed over here, um, but also on the... Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like maybe they're all listed inside the ship as well. Um, but that is cool. There is uh, obviously it's a, it comes default in this uh, white and black type of scheme, but there are many other uh, color setups you can do with this. Hold on, I got lost. How did I get lost so bad? What happened? All right, I was. Ah. <laughs> I wasn't even in this area yet. Where am I? Holy cow, did I get lost? I'm not even in the list. Is this even the same ship? Okay. We will find a way down there in a second. <laughs> wow. Oh, maybe I was there. No. Anyway, um, just for the heck of it, in case you've never, in case you don't understand how this works, uh, like say I wanted this uh, crimson and charcoal color scheme, I could, uh, if, I, if I walk up to the, one of these panels here, I hit P. And then I get into devices. You will see uh, the configuration here. You got to hit the access button. And then uh, essentially what I would want to do is everything starting with this code here is the color code. So I'm going to uh, highlight this whole thing. And then I'm going to hit uh, control C on the keyboard. And then if you uh, get out a color tool or texture and color tool, and you right click on here I can go to configure and I'll make sure I got the uh, the top uh, is highlighted here I don't think it's necessary to do this but I usually hold down shift and I also press on the uh, the bottom uh, right as well which highlights them all and then I just hit paste and now that transfers over the color code that we just got off from that LCD which should let me get the lights back on uh, ship the ship to a completely different color scheme and all oh, that looks really nice too and there is a lot of there's a lot of different color schemes set up for this ship. Yeah, I like this too. I mean, yeah, very very cool. Nice touch there. And uh, yeah, so uh, good idea, good idea. Love to see that kind of thing. All right. Anyway, I was uh, I keep on getting sidetracked in this ship, and I'm trying to figure out where the heck I just was. I probably up in the front area there. So let's uh, let's take a walk through here. So we we kind of looked at this area already. Yep, let's go this way. This is the other room that I didn't check out yet. Shield house. 
Oh, so it's all set up for shield house parts too, or, or shield parts. Looks like these blocks are, again, going to be removable where you can add in those one by 2 shield uh, reforged eating blocks. Like the uh, display for the uh, Pentaxa tank too, and the cut-ins on, on the wall here, the way that works out. we got our shield over here, shield power level. <laughs> That's cool. I, yeah, really cool looking displays. Warp, uh, warp chamber. Very cool. Yep. You can slap in your, uh, your, your warp drive there. Got to have that. And we got, uh, looks like places for, I would say, at least six uh, uh, shield parts. Over down that side. Then we got our main core right in the, uh, the center here. Really nice looking display there, too. So I am noticing an another touch here, too, that the, uh, the author set up the exterior colors to be different than that of the interior colors so when i did that color switch it did not repaint the inside of the ship uh, and that is that is really cool actually i uh i really gotta look into that one myself i've uh haven't really done that before i thought about it many times but never really did it and that is cool that, that way you can have the ship be any color on the outside but you know, like if everything was red in the inside, you might not like it as much. It might might it might screw with the lighting or something like that. And this way, it separates it both. So I gotta assume, if we were to take a look at the color palette on here, that we're gonna have, yeah, basically you have uh, some hall colors that are separated from your interior colors in the mix. A really good idea again. Yeah, very very cool. Plenty of upgrades. Killer looking ship. Um, Pretty big, pretty big for an SV. But uh, let's let's take a look at its specs now. Um, let's start with we are size class four, so it's, it's really not that big. I mean, it's just you don't see a lot of. Yeah, typically speaking, you see a lot, awful lot more bigger size class CVs as opposed to SVs out there. Uh, so size class four, uh, 88 forward. So yeah, really good uh, forward thrust there. 26 strafing, 52 lift, 26 reverse, 21 down. Four hour and 51 minute build time. A smidgen of Zacosium and Zestrium. Uh, four Gatling guns, uh, two laser cannons, and a detector. 24 fuel tanks, a lot of fuel tanks in here. 10 oxygen tanks. Uh, a little impressed here. Well, I've been very impressed actually, but uh, the numbers here, I expected to to see uh, more more CPU usage stock, uh, at least, but uh, only 37, 37K. Obviously, it's got room for a lot of extra shield parts and things like that, more CPU blocks. Um, so, yeah, a lot of different stuff that you can add to this ship here. In fact, to just kind of take a look at the body, I'm sure there's a lot of places you could stick some more, more guns and weapons uh, pretty easily as well. Like, here could be a great uh, turret mount position things like that so yeah very very cool very cool ship nice work really nice work looks uh looks just it looks pro really pro so anyway um the next creation um i want to do this in two parts on the on the very next creation here one i've got it spawned in on the surface but i want to uh i want to look at it in the light here and then i want to spawn it out in space because i have a feeling that this particular uh, really cool looking uh, base or space station um, is used in some uh, more complicated uh, gravity setups on it. So uh, I just I did want to take a look at it on the uh, the planet side first. And what this is is the Nexus by Stellar Titan, and a really cool looking uh, space base. Um, so obviously it's meant to uh, deal with gravity a little bit differently. So you you know in space you don't have gravity. And I have a feeling that you're going to be able to walk around this ring that connects the uh, the top and bottom of this. But uh, let's take a good look here. So obviously a lot of landing pads, um, but it looks like there's some uh, stuff going on below there too. Uh, this is really cool. I love the design, by the way. It's it just looks like something you'd see in a in a sci-fi movie, big time. Here, look at all the landing pads. Uh, various sizes and things too. Like you got the really big one back over here. Um, this one actually does have the repair bay in it too, which makes a lot of sense. I like the uh, how the blocks are kind of done up on the sides here too, with these 
uh, landing pads are kind of like separated from the lower frame and kind of lifted up and where you can kind of see stuff going on below there that 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 is a really cool touch that adds a significant amount of detail to all of this it's really detailed anyway but that's just that's a really cool touch there i'm curious what's going on down there and then it looks like on the on the oh, actually this is only the center of it this is a this is a pretty big creation by the way um so you got the i don't know uh looks like a lot of utility function building structure back over here And of course, you've got everything uh, matching up on the top side here too. So just double whatever you just seen down there for your landing capacity and then actually quadruple that when you can extend that out to the other side of the ship over here. Or ship. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. I mean base, space station. Yeah, this is really cool. Lot to see here. Yeah, and the center structure. I have seen this done before, maybe even by the same author. Um, but yeah, it is a really cool. It's it's a little more complicated approach to do things, but I mean it's wildly, wildly cool and kind of you know realistic for like a space station, especially. I mean, just to, let's take a look at the uh, this part of it here. I like how this uh, this layered block work is being done. It's a lot of half block jumps. Um, and it kind of purposely overhangs uh, to make it look like uh, armored plating or something like that over the top of uh, the creation below it. Really nice touch on that. Looks like we got a, some uh, retractable turret in that section here. Yeah, that is really neat, this, uh, this layered armor approach. I, I, I definitely like to see that. I've been seeing that uh, a few times on some different creations, and I, I, I always like it. It's very, very cool touch. And all these embedded areas, too, that kind of break up, uh, you know, your armor plating. If it was just solid armor plating across, it would just it would lose its um, luster. But when you have this kind of thing separating these plates, uh, it just really, really kicks in the high gear for visuals. Yeah, very cool. And that, yeah, this is a big one. This is a big, big, big creation. So, all right. So we're gonna have to. Uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna jet right up into space here. Actually, you know, there's one last thing I wanted to do, and it was talking about a cockpit problem. I wanted to see how that was actually gonna work out. So this is one I made a while ago, and this is one I noticed that I got some comments saying the cockpit's not working right in it. And this is one of the thinnest SVs I think I've made. So I can see why that would probably happen. Um, but I just want to see if I get out of God mode how this thing uh, behaves here. Give it some gas, too. Real quick here. And then we'll go out in space and if I can even walk in it. Come on, why aren't you opening? Open! There we go. Okay, so, so far, so good. In the cockpit. Getting out of the cockpit. Yeah, just kicked me out the, 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 the top of the ship. Yep, okay, so that is that is messed up. I just wanted to uh, confirm that to see what was going on with it. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, again, I really don't have any. Uh, I kind of I looked at that a little bit. I, I, I just don't really have any options to fix it. It's uh, something that needs to be really addressed in the game again for probably like the 10th time. Uh, literally, I, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating there. It's been a. It's been a problem for a very long time, um, and it keeps on changing. The problem, it never seems to go away. It just changes from one form to another um, on what's going on with that. All right, so let's uh, let's get this uh, Nexus spawned out here a second. Oh, not the Creel one. And, yeah, this will be much better to uh, to walk in the interior and actually have the, uh, the, the physics and the gravity work as i believe it probably will so let me find uh, let's uh let's just hop in the center section here i am really curious if there's a living space below these landing pads too i'm not sure yet so it looks like when you once you get in the middle here looks like uh say yeah kind of a production area here really cool i like the uh the elevator uh, lcds there 
That's cool. Kind of open glass on the outside there, too. Neat. Yeah, definitely a production area here. It looks like we got switches to turn these things on and off, too. Um, I'm not sure if the author intended that uh, constructor to be purple, um, but I notice I've got the same problem. If you paint these Reforged Eden pieces with any color besides uh, standard colors like this, the, the, the color this is is not even in the palette on this ship. Um, but if it was, uh, it needs to be kind of painted gray or... I don't, it, it goes to the, the default color palette, so it doesn't matter what co custom colors you've got in there. Um, obviously, there is probably that stock uh, purple color somewhere along there, and that's probably what it was painted as. Um, but that color doesn't even exist in the build, so it's it's a weird thing for sure. Looks like, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it is a base, so we've got a uh, we've got a furnace right over here mounted in the uh, the wall too. Nice looking display for that. Let me get I'll get back into God mode here. Oh, we got a switch for our furnace. Constructor. Yeah, this is cool. I like this uh, setup here. I like the, the block work on the sides here, too. That's uh, pretty interesting, the way this is set up here. A lot of detail um, created from that, from those uh, blocks along the edges there. Yeah, great looking uh, area here. So let's see. Now this is just going to go back out to the other side over there. I guess my biggest uh, uh, thing was I was, wasn't was sure if this actually led down and went underneath landing pads. I'm thinking no. Yeah, okay, so that's probably not living space there. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure. All right, so let's, uh, wow, man, we've got, so there's a, where does this go first? This, yeah, I was going to say, this is not going to go all the way up to the other side of the station. you got to go on the outer rings for that. Oh, look at this. This is some spiffy looking stuff here. I, yeah, nice, nice looking area. Like the carpet, the colors, and the uh, all the block work here. I like the uh, yeah, nice looking uh, uh, teleporter set up here too. The LCD there. Looks like we got a, uh, a full med bay over here. That is very cool. Oh, look at the interesting block work here. Kind of creating a kind of a, almost like a side of a hexagon there. That's cool. So capital vessel docks one and two, and probably uh, three and four on the other side. See how that works too. One thing that's really cool about building uh, certain kinds of creations where you can overlook other parts of the creation is getting scenes like this. When you walk into a room and you look out the window and you can see uh, a lot of the creation that you're in like out on the outside there and it just it just looks so cool that way it adds a lot of detail imagine if this was just a wall there's nothing going on here and you couldn't see out there and there's nothing there to see um it just it adds a lot it's a great uh technique to really uh really make a creation look just you know more more better <laughs> All right, so I gotta see what's up. Okay, so this is gonna, this actually is gonna lead to the ring, I think. All right, so we gotta get out of God mode for this. I wanna see how this is all gonna work out here. Think I can climb that? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, and the visuals you get from this too. Kind of feels like you're in space, you know. So we're we're technically like going straight up right now at this point in time. And how the author pulled this off and, and the author had to build everything at angles to match this too so think about it right now i'm vertically looking up the ship but or up the uh the uh the station but it doesn't look that way you know it's it's really cool that is really really cool so i got cv dock two i gotta see how this is here i'm gonna get out of i'm gonna get in out of god mode a second here we'll go back in that same door i was just there i just want to see how this works out i didn't even really notice this before but this is like a dock dock areas for cvs that go up along this ring here too that is really cool yeah nice okay so and you can see the complexities the author had to go through to build this because this is literally what he built right here seeing it in this direction um until we uh, utilize the gravity in the station here. Yeah, that is cool. 
So let's keep on moving forward here. We got some cargo boxes. A great looking area here too. All built, you know, sideways. Uh, slick. Love to see the uh, all this this craziness, the uh, ingenuity, and the is uh, and these creations. Hope it gives everybody ideas too. I, I mean, I, I get a lot of ideas from looking at other people's ships, so I ain't gonna hide that one at all. So now we're like literally upside down if you orientate yourself to how the uh, the creation was. So this area is basically well, I don't know if the author built it upside down or used the uh, the tools in uh in the game here to to uh rotate um chunks of it that were already built um i i, I couldn't say that would be an author secret there i think teleporter relay ha <laughs> did i i didn't loop back around no I, I don't know i'm gonna just keep on going this way we're just gonna we're gonna walk this is just so cool to see and look oh yeah look at that visuals there too this actually does work um, and the author had to put in um, different gravity generators in different locations that trigger, I think, um, at different times, depending on where you are, to give you the gravity that would work for that particular area. And as, as, as it's meant, you can uh, keep on roaming around this entire ring over and over and over again, and then you just basically start where you started from um or right back to where you started from so yeah this is this is slick very cool station by the way very cool a lot of docking spaces a lot of places to park capital vessels around um things like that i'm sure it's got wi-fi and all that fun stuff for uh transferring cargo in and out and stuff like that plus you've got you know your your utility function a production bay Things like that. I have a feeling I'm missing something somewhere, but I, I'm not. I'm not sure on that. It looks pretty straightforward, D despite being a very large creation. It looks pretty easy to uh, to navigate, and everything's pretty uh, pretty solid there. And it's not really uh, even me. I'm sort of having a hard time getting lost, <laughs> which is probably for saying something. Yeah, yeah. As, as some other comments said, I could get lo lost in a two-room building. <laughs> So uh, yeah, no, this is this is cool. Very very nicely done again. Uh, just solid um, solid looking visuals and a lot of attention to detail and a very innovative design on top of that too. Um, yeah, definitely like this. Well, let's take a look at some specs here. So start with we are a size class 30, so it is it is a pretty big one. We've seen bigger, but. It is, it is pretty big, uh, 26 fuel tanks, uh, 26 ventilators, uh, da, da, da. Oh, I mean, uh, 18 oxygen tanks is actually what I meant to say. I, I get excited here now and then. So CPU-wise, this could very well be for vanilla. Um, that is honestly something I'm not sure I checked out. Um, I'm looking at this in Reforge Eden. I would imagine the CPU would check out fine if this is uh, the case, and it probably is. Um, so... Uh, but even at the CPU here, it's, it could absolutely work in Reforged Eden as well. Um, not really a thing there at all. Let's take a look at your storage. So Nexus, we've got an ammo controller at 96K. Uh, looks like a lot of cargo boxes. Uh, and then here's our controller rig here. So, oh wait, these are containers. These aren't controllers. Okay, so a lot of boxes. So it looks like we've got uh, one here at 326k. Uh, and we've got three other uh, controllers. Looks like they're, uh, well, maybe they're all 26k. Or uh, 326k, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Decent amount of storage, but mainly it's it's a hub. It's a, for all the players, uh, anybody playing to uh, park, chill, trade, gather, um, and uh, you could have a uh, you could have some kind of marathon running running the ring contest. Uh, <laughs> that is really cool, though. I love to see this idea. And actually, now that I come to think of it, there is there is a central column in here. I didn't even notice that. Let me uh, let me buzz back in here one more time. For some reason. 
Yeah, okay, this doesn't go up into there, though, does it? Okay, oh, our main core is right there. It looks like utility function going up there. Okay. Yeah, this, there wasn't really, I think that would just, that would mess you up. Honestly, if there was a straight up elevator here going to the upside down top of it, I think that would screw you up because you got the ring thing and it's it's very dependent on this. And somewhere in this creation, there are opposing gravity generators to allow you to do this this walk. Everything really has to be set up uh, very well and tested uh, repeatedly, I'm sure, when the author uh, came up with the, uh, the initial part of the uh, design here. So anyway, again, this is the uh, Nexus by Stellar Titan. Really, really awesome, innovative uh, creation here. Works well. Works well. Looks great, too. A lot of attention to detail. And that is all I've got for today. Now, uh, one thing. I didn't do a look at the workshop video last week, so I, but I did pick out creations for it. I just was under the weather, and a lot of other things were going on, and I, I never got around to doing the video. So I plan on doing that uh, early next week uh, with six creations that I had picked out from the week prior to this week. So um, look for that. And other than that, you all have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you later.